What's good, YouTube? So I have a profile you aren't ready for, and that is Metal Foes Cosmos. Andres Sierra uh, basically says, I'm a huge fan and follower of your channel from Puerto Rico. Yesterday, we had a regional consisting of 121 players, and I made 11th with my Fire King Metal Foes Cosmo deck. Sadly, I did not top 8 after losing my last round, but I wanted to share this with you because it's a unique deck strategy I think people would like seeing. And I'm definitely intrigued, so let's go ahead and get into it, and then get into his tournament report and what he has to say about the deck because he has a lot to say we have fire king avatar yaksha we have two metal foes volflame we have three gold driver two silver red two steel in two uh cosmo tin can two straw man a farm girl a good witch this house vanity's fiend just to note two dark lady a land walker a dark destroyer an eclipser three slip rider and three forerunner kind of hailing back to how cosmo started with a few things in this deck Three Cosmo Town, three Terraforming, two Desires, one Fire King Island, one Teleport, one Metal Foes Fusion, one Monarch Storm Forth, three Cosmojo, one Metal Foes Counter, one Metal Foes Combination, and two of the Call of the Haunted. We have Metal Foes Orichalc, we have Admante, and we have a Barbaroid, we have Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon, Draco Sack, Gaia Dragon, the Thunder Charger, Volcasaurus, Castell, Abyss Dweller, Super Quantal, Mecha Beast, Grand Pulse, Giga Brilliant, Sky Calvary Centuria, Big Eye, Cybernova, and Cyber Dragon Infinity. Sorry, I'm kind of running thin, done 20 deck profiles this weekend, man. Uh, we have one Effect Mailer, one Ghost Ogre, two Maxi, two Jurgettos, two Kamungus. So we see this more and more because Gamma Seal's an 8, so Blue Eyes cannot overlay with it. It is a 7. Two MSTs, a Galaxy Cyclone, a Mirror of the Ice Barrier, a Regeki, a Full House, and a Typhoon. Whew. So this deck is fire. Then, pun intended, double ways. Noble rounds! Uh, well, first, let's get into the rounds. First round, uh, played Herald of Perfection deck 2-1, Magic Specters 2-1, Metal Foes 2-0, PK Fire 2-0, Tzolkin Hero 1-2. That guy finished undefeated. Blue Eyes 2-0, and then lost to Blue Eyes in the final round, 1-2. Notable rounds. Game three of round five, he opened Zulkin Crystal Wing Dark Law with anti spell fragrance set. I banned his Crystal Wing with Tin Pin and End Phase uh, to chain tag out and to slip, destroying his set, next set to the fragrance. Next turn, using Cosmojo to banish his Crystal, he summoned Diamond Dude, thinking he'd go for game, but left me at 700 life points. Summoned Farm Girl and attacked over Diamond Dude, used it to grab Dark Destroyer, which snipe. Got sniped by Dark Law, thus winning him the match. So that's kind of how he fell to the hero deck. Uh, anything else of note uh, and shoutouts uh, that I wanted to know? His list of shoutouts are Juan Ortiz. He uh, lended him the Cosmo deck and cards and thought out of the deck out idea. The PR community as a whole, so Puerto Ricans, Reppin. Marcel and Edward helped me play test the Cosmo Mirror, and uh, he, I told him the deck looked really cool. He said, thanks a lot. The deck is really fun, to be honest, and quite consistent as well. The main focus is using Metal Phones uh, and Fire King cards to toolbox into the Cosmo cards that you need. So, something really cool, like you have a lot of tricks with Metal Phones Fusion, and it recurs, so there's no need to really play anymore. Uh, and it's just kind of cool how he's set up this entire thing uh, all together. The scales are really good for Cosmo. Uh, you can just kind of pendulum out uh, a lot of what you need because the eight's the high scale. So you can pendulum out Slip Rider and just use its effect no matter what. It doesn't have to be sp uh, special by Cosmo. Uh, you can pendulum out Dark Lady, and it's it's pretty cool that you have this interaction between the Metal Foes and the Cosmos. So thanks for watching. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, I think this is actually something that's really cool and maybe a little bit of the future of the game.